I am Ashton Addison from BlockQuest Capital for Investment Pitch Media, and today on the Crypto Coin Show we have Mikhail Komarov, the founder of the Nail Foundation. Mikhail, welcome to the show, and thank you for taking the time. Yeah. Hey. Thanks for having me. You're very welcome. Excited to dive into zero knowledge uh, technologies. From what I understand, zk is very important to the advancement of blockchain privacy and scalability, and it could be as big as blockchain. I'm excited to hear your thoughts on that. But let's start the conversation off just from a high level on what you and your team have built at the Nil Foundation, and then we'll dive into all the details. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, basically, Nil Foundation is a developer of a decentralized proof market and a circuit compiler, which uh, basically lowers the entry, uh, which lowers the entry level required for protocols and applications to get into like zk-related space by first of all making proofs, you know, just accessible, just as a simple commodity to be bought and sold on the proof on the market, you know, like imagine speculating with proofs, huh? And uh, in the same time, by it's like in the same time, it, it makes it more accessible for developers by, you know, like easing out the learning curve for them in terms of them not having a need to learn custom languages for like circuits anymore because they can do it, you know, like with the mainstream generic purpose languages everybody's been taught these days. So mm -hmm. that's what we are. Okay, uh, that's good to know. Um, and it's great to make the technology, you know, easier to use and, and more adopted. I understand it has a lot of benefits. I'd love to hear a little bit more, you know, it, it can get very technical, especially on the developer side with this. Um, and there's a lot of people that are, you know, they're familiar with Bitcoin, Ethereum, DeFi, but when it comes to all these layer twos and scaling and different privacy technologies, it can get a little, a little bit confusing. Can you talk about you know, when this technology is fully developed and built and integrated into some of these main protocols? What are the main advantages and why is it so important? Mm -hmm. See, okay, basically, basically this kind of basically this kind of tech is important for all these protocols. Basically, because it's like all of these protocols, uh, they feature it's, it's like they feature they feature uh, trust minimized competition environments. Basically, and uh, these trust minimized trust minimized competition environments they are quite expensive to be used. Well, we got mm -hmm. we got to be honest with that. So, and uh, this and 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 this and this tech uh, is like GK proof tech in, in general. It uh, emerged uh, and it continues to emerge uh, basically because it allows for complex computations to be compressed and to be used within very restricted environments. It's like with reasonable costs. So basically, it's you know basically uh, in most cases, for example, for rollups, this is being used as a way to effectively compress a lot of data and to use that and within very restricted environments cheaply. Mm -hmm. So that's what the thing. There is another side. There, there, there is one more. Uh, there is like another side of things. Is uh, basically it's about the privacy side of things. There mm -hmm. is like there is one more property of this whole like you know CK stuff. It's uh, it provides uh, you know as they call maybe like blinding properties to the data mm -hmm. which was compressed if a user wants to hide it. So that enables uh, that enables quite a lot of use cases as well. So. The combination of these two properties, you know, like the desire for folks to keep their secrets in their, uh, you know, <laughs> so to, to, to keep their secrets where, where they are supposed to be, and at the same time to not to pay a lot of for this. Well, mm -hmm. that's 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 what makes it, you know, so mm -hmm. so interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you so much, and that, that that definitely helps. And and I'm curious on the implementation of the technology into the blockchain world. Is this a tech that's designed to help Ethereum specifically, or a lot of the layer ones that, that we see that are out right now, or is it its own layer one itself that will run simultaneous to these networks? Uh, it's like uh, it's like it's like regarding it's like regarding Ethereum. This uh, this technology is most obviously most uh, developed uh, around the Ethereum ecosystem, basically because well, I would say this way, it has it has uh, the most amount of use cases for that mm -hmm. uh it's like well the obvious thing uh it's like but it's not limited to that moreover i would say that moreover i would say that uh the zk space is not limited to like crypto in general mm -hmm. it uh, can and it will and it should be used like outside of crypto as well mm -hmm. so it's much more generic than this i would say mm -hmm. Oh, that's that's great to know, and I, I've been speaking to a few you know, zk technology companies recently, and I, I heard this claim that you know, zk is 
as big as blockchain itself. And, and that sounds like a huge opportunity. Uh, what do you think of that statement? Uh, does, it, does it ring true to you? Well, again, as I said, since this thing uh, comes out of the crypto space in general, and maybe even extends it, uh, sometimes it's not just, it doesn't just extend it, you know, sometimes it, uh, it goes to like pretty non-obvious industries and it settles down in there and it's still being useful in there. Mm -hmm. So I would say that it's, it might be a pretty valid statement, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I mean might be a pretty valid statement considering that this thing is not limited to crypto industry so mm -hmm. why not yeah no that it's uh and i feel like you know i've stumbled onto something that's like the next blockchain in in the early days so it's very exciting um and and at the beginning you were talking about improving the access to uh, the zk proofs and even having a marketplace for that can you explain yes. uh what that means okay well, basically, let's uh, let's let's talk it this way. Uh, it's like right now we have like a lot of applications and protocols using all of those ZK proofs for different purposes: privacy purposes, compression purposes, scaling purposes, whatever. A lot of them, all of them are very interesting. All of them are like great. And uh, the thing is that uh, all of them require all of them require first of all uh, these proofs to be generated by someone, and second of all, in case these proofs were pre-generated by someone, well, maybe they could just maybe they could just like reuse them instead of generating them themselves. So mm -hmm. it's basically so 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 all of these projects they require a set of provers to be set up exclusively for them. That's the first thing. The second thing it requires for all of them to if these proofs were generated by someone already for these proofs to be you know retrieved from some place and uh, there's there's no place where they can do this and uh, so that's why that's why the idea of a proof market came basically to our mind something mm -hmm. like okay we needed that ourselves. We had like you know several applications using this uh, using this like on our side as well. So we were like, well, why don't we get this thing up and running? We mm -hmm. got it up and running. We basically made a proof a commodity. So it's like you know right now it can be you know just sold or just like you do with regular I don't know like oil. It's, it's, it's like coal, mm -hmm. oil, uh, whatever. It's like mm -hmm. grain. You can sell proofs. And uh, if you want, if you want an interesting, if you want an interesting, uh, you know, an interesting statement, there is one with something like if you, it's, it's, it's like if you take a look at the proof, of what kind of commodity is it? It, it is. Mm -hmm. uh, you can basically think of it as of the one of maybe one of the first crypto industry produced commodities. Mm -hmm. So all of the other commodities they were produced like outside of the crypto industry. It's like you know, grain, oil, whatever. Mm -hmm. You just grow it. You just you know, dig it, whatever. But in here, this commodity was basically born by crypto industry and it exists because of crypto industry. And now, you know, wow. there is a market for that and you can like estimate that. So we commoditized it. That's what we did. Wow. <clears throat> That's very cool. And I feel like this, obviously this technology is huge, but I feel like it's pretty early on. Uh, I'm curious on how long your team has been working on this and what sort of stage it's at right now. Well, it's like uh, it's it's like it's like it's like the, the the proof market and the compiler combination. We started coming to the to we started coming to uh, to realize the necessity of that. It's like the necessity that we would need that ourselves mm -hmm. also. Besides all the other projects, we started to come into that somewhat somewhat around maybe like the beginning of. 2020 or something like this mm -hmm. uh basically because well basically because as i said we had like several projects connected that could connect that like on our side so we were like well we need it we'll do that and uh so basically yeah it's kind of around around it took us around three years to mm -hmm. to release it well i wouldn't say it's like it's 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 kind of fun. To, to, to release it to show it to public that's what it is mm -hmm. that's what you know to be to, 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 to be fair and uh the current stage, the current, the current stage of it is we have opened for we have opened and we have like uh, revealed uh, the proof market itself. It, we haven't even developed like uh, a fancy front end for that. <laughs> no, it's like the actual front end of like the actual exchange where you can like trade proofs just mm -hmm. like you do with regular commodities. <laughs> yeah. So pretty much, pretty much the same, pretty much this thing. And uh, yeah, we also we also released we also released the compiler, so developers wouldn't wouldn't would would be able to prove like I don't know 
mainstream like hot, like huge complications i don't know like games for example zk mm -hmm. games to ethereum so they would be able to i don't know play third party shooter games on ethereum and you mm -hmm. have you ever wanted to do this well it's going to be possible it's that's that's how it's possible mm -hmm. so that's what we did that's what the stage of it and uh we're expanding works we're, we're expanding our exposure like the market we're we're increasing our exposure to the market we're integrating projects um that's what we do right now mm -hmm. okay that's uh that's great to hear and I, I you mentioned there about the user interface and almost like a you know decentralized exchange kind of it's almost like you're trading you know bitcoin on, a, on an exchange but yeah but but commodities of proofs which is super yeah. cool um and i feel like com crypto commodities are something that will only continue to grow well, it's like let's say it this way. These is it's like these are these are one of the these are one of the first ones. We'll see how it goes further, basically <laughs> because I mean, see, it's like it's like it's it's it's, it's like the difference. It's like the difference uh, between this kind of commodities and between like you know kind of assets we are used to mm -hmm. is basically you know a demand for this kind of commodities is much more rigid. Mm -hmm. uh, than like you know than just for like speculative assets basically because speculative assets they well they they it's like the demand for them depends on if folks want to speculate with them or not I mean it's yeah. it's up to them to decide mm -hmm. whatever and uh, it's like the demand for these commodities it's basically you know protocols and applications both of them most of them they need these proofs to survive so mm -hmm. there is no other choice for them but they need these proofs like you know rollups rollups cannot survive without proofs. It's like mm. Starknet is not capable of surviving without proofs, for example, uh -huh. or like other rollups are not possible. It's like they're not capable of doing that. So mm -hmm. that's where it is. That's that's mm -hmm. that's the difference. So it's like, yeah. And obviously, you know, a lot of protocols. This would be great for protocols and a lot of these decentralized applications. I'm curious if you can give an example on you know uh, a major. Uh, you know, Fang Corporation or Blue Chip Corporation or even a government outside of the crypto world, um, how they would use these proofs uh, in their day-to-day -day business to improve their business? Yeah, well, it's like one of the most obvious applications, one of the most obvious applications we see right now, I mean, uh, one, one, one of the most, one of, it's like, let's say this way, the most demand for non-crypto, the most demand for non-crypto uh, proof, as we call them, like trading pairs or like whatever, uh, we see on the proof market right now, is the demand related to machine learning stuff. Basically, mm -hmm. folks yeah. are improving, basically folks are improving uh, you know, the properties of their models, their training, uh, thanks to them being able to not to disclose, you know, the, the training that all, that's mm -hmm. the first thing. So it basically, helps to maintain it helps to maintain privacy you know data privacy we all care about you know so much uh, outside of crypto industry which you know outside of crypto industry folks do not care about that that much unfortunately but mm -hmm. this helps them to maintain that you know in technical in technological way so uh -huh. that's the first that's the first thing we see mm -hmm. that's the first uh, and the primary demand we see for proofs mm -hmm. outside of crypto industry mm -hmm. uh, maybe uh, we could also think about well maybe we could also think about uh, you know, demand from machine learning folks, from uh, from those who love like training different models, uh, but mm -hmm. they're trying to apply those. They, they're trying to make them applicable to all of the crypto industry through this kind of proofs. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, this is something like you know, this is something like um, in, 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 in it's, it's, it's like this is something like which which helps to get more to get more things to be possible to be done on, on crypto via these proofs mm -hmm. in crypto without with, with these proofs mm -hmm. so that's what it is yeah no that makes sense with the ai uh, you know with the release of chat gpt and and the beginning of this year i think a lot of people have woken up um, inside of crypto and just in the general world about the t capabilities of of ai technology and, and how it's going to revolutionize all of these <clears throat> the, the labor force and and just work in general, um, and I, and I'm guessing, you know, Z zk technology is going to help with that AI, just like making proofs easier. You know, is that something that would apply directly to something like ChatGPT? Uh, it's like let's say it this way. Uh, it's it's like let's say it this way. Trying to do ChatGPT with uh, trying to do ChatGPT uh, in the in application to like crypto projects and all and all the things. It's a little bit too early i think to think about this mm -hmm. but it's like let's say this way technologically technologically it's 
seems to be possible. Mm -hmm. It's like I would. As, it's like let's say this way. It's very experimental things. Uh, mm -hmm. It's like uh, we. It's like we and like several folks within the industry have the considerations how it could be, you know like it possibly be done. But mm -hmm. anyway, so doable, but very experimental for now. Very early for now. So really, yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, well, AI grows quickly, and I'm guessing, you know, ZK will, it's, uh, you're doing the tough work for everybody right now, but uh, eventually, you know, once you have easier access to starting to implement it through the marketplace and all of these things that your team has designed, um, I feel like it will only become easier. Um, what, what are the next steps for, you know, the, the rest of 2023 in where Nail Foundation is going to grow this and, and take it to the next level and into the public? Uh, well, it's like, uh, it's like it's like let's say it this way: the proof market is the proof market is already public. It's like it's already it's, mm -hmm. it's like it's already you know deployed, and so it already can be used. Uh, it's not like it's not like production level maybe yet because it's like open beta version, something like this. Mm -hmm. So our plan for so our plan till the end of 2023 is to put it to production. That's the first thing. The second thing is well, as I said, we're gonna. Be, it's, it's, it's like we're gonna be we're gonna be trying to we're gonna be, we're gonna be trying to expand uh, to expand this thing to you know to be helpful to as much projects as possible basically because well again it's like the faster it's like the faster we grow the faster the industry will grow basically because mm -hmm. it's like the easier it is for folks to bootstrap their own like new projects trying out new hy hypotheses trying out you know new things which are possible or like not possible to be done uh, it's like the faster the market will grow so it's like you know that's you know a win-win for everybody mm -hmm. and that's that's that, that's basically like our plan our plan until the end of 2023 it's like to get this thing to get this thing like the production and to cover as much and to help as much projects as as, as we can mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay and where can people learn more about you know the the zk proofs and and their use cases and also just for the marketplace to, to, to check it out and, and see you know the UI and how it works. Well, it's like to have it's it's like to have a general feeling about the proof marketplace. You can, it's like it's possible to go to you know we even got ourselves a fancy domain. Okay, it's like proof that market because there could be only one proof market. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> just kidding. Um, so um, that's the, that's the first thing, and the second thing is like uh, let's say this way, um, good. It's, it's like good resources to learn about this whole thing from the academic perspective. From from the academic perspective, is well, it's like uh, it's like International Association of Computer Research. They have their their perfect mailing list. If you're into reading academic papers, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. It's the best place to get to to, to know all about it. And uh, regarding and regarding where to learn, like you know, in the in the more uh, wide, widely, widely accessible, uh, where, where to learn about more, like in, in about the thing explained in a more widely accessible way. Mm -hmm. It's uh, well, I would say it's like let's say this way. Uh, there are um, well, the, the, it's, it's, it's like there are folks I saw I saw there are folks like try, uh, posting like several explanatory blog posts about this. Mm -hmm. uh, well, it's like again, conferences. I mean, just you know, ask me more. Ask, ask, ask me more. Ask, ask me more particular about more particular places. I mean, because again, uh -huh. it all depends. It, it, it all depends. It all depends. For sure. And is there already communities that um, like social communities for Nil Foundation? Where's the most popular place for people to get together to speak about it? Uh, yeah, uh, it's like folks, uh, folks have got together, folks have got together into like inside, 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 inside our discord spamming each other with like different papers about like different stuff. So that's, well, that might be the place as well. Yeah. <laughs> that might be the place as well. I just, let's say this way. I just didn't want to make it. I just didn't want to stop like right away from like, you know, telling about like, here we go. Here's the discord. Like, come on. Yeah, for sure. No, there, there it's. There's, a, I'm sure there's a lot of literature to to cover, and, and I can put the links for uh, the platform, the, the proof market, the the socials, and um, if there's any research that's that is credible, I'll add that in the links after in the description as well. So um, that'll all be there, and I, I'm wishing you guys all the best on this. It's, it sounds like something very important uh, to the growth of blockchain and just business in general. So I will be following along as well, um, and. I'm wishing you guys all the best for you know the rest of 
2023 and taking this into the production and, and beyond that, I'm sure it's a many multi-year journey ahead. Um, so thank you so much, Mihail, for, for coming on and explaining all of this and, and all the best with everything moving forward. Yep, thanks a lot. Thanks for inviting me.